Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Oof, 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 I love it. Okay, um, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with the Taurus, and the message could be for you to directly. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so if it doesn't resonate with you, it's probably not for you. So please don't try to force it to your situation. If you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you to those who have been liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate that so, so, so much. Taurus. Okay, what I was going to say before I dive in is we just had this Pisces full moon. So these readings are going to be a little bit different today because I was kind of getting in touch with spirit and I was like, yeah, like, what do we want to do? You know, how do I want to do the readings? And so I was kind of getting, sorry, some of my cards are flipped around. Um, so Pisces full moon, very significant closing to a lot of things in your life. Okay. So you guys might've started to finally see that there's been something that's affecting you that you need to put a complete close to now. Cause Pisces is all about deaths and it's all about transformations to step into the new beginnings. So that's why I'm using these cards. This is the doors that are opening for you, especially because we have the new moon in Libra coming up on Saturday. So there's going to be some doors that are opening this week. So on this side of the reading is gonna be what's closing out. And on this side is that new beginning. And so we've got two doors for you, Taurus, opening up. This is good. Okay, Taurus. I want to say that you have maybe been dealing with someone, maybe some type of fear and anxiety. And here we got the justice card. There was some type of maybe injustice that you went through. And maybe it's with someone who had a little bit of an illusion up. Okay. Maybe weren't exactly who you thought that they were. Okay. With that injustice or something. This even could be legal stuff. But here, this is what's a really positive coming out on the doors opening for you. We've got the star card. So we've got harmony, abundance, renewal, healing, inspiration, and a lot of optimism. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. So for some of you, this could have felt like a little bit dark night of the soulish. You know, it, it, yeah, with the moon, there was probably a lot of like in the dark, you're trying to find your way and you're probably felt really disconnected in a lot of ways but these are the doors that are opening for you i love this okay so we have got a cure for longing love is happiness a spark inside live deliberately and choose boldly then you have arrived and hummingbird song nectar of sweetness enjoy it brings the hummingbirds healing as medicine it sings so for you guys what i think is kind of happening this week is you guys and it's so funny gemini was a little bit similar to this it's almost like you've been longing for things to be really different in your life taurus it's like you're just really needing a change because you're sick of things being unbalanced you're sick of constantly being in these states of like you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what's going to come and i feel like it's just because things Maybe a relationship in your life is just really unbalanced. You know what I mean? And this is all, this can be worry, deception, fears and anxieties. It's just like, and a lot of confusion, okay? It's not the most positive card like to come out on this side though. But the cure for it is to, if you guys watch Hummingbirds, this is why I love this card coming out here. It's because seriously... Like even looking out the window right now, I'm tempted to show you guys, but I have like five hummingbirds that are right outside of my window that I just sit and watch all day long because I mean, partly they're addicted to the sugar in these feeders, which really irritates me, but <laughs> I have no control over that. So pretty much what I'm saying is, Taurus, have you ever watched a hummingbird? Like they're magical. To me, the, like when I watch them, I'm just in complete amazement about science and biology and how they work. And it's almost like you're just too caught up in your world, Taurus. Like you're too caught up in your relationships and the 3D and like how everything is looking and how everything is working. And you've kind of lost touch with the magic in life. 
that things are like really, really cool. Like there are synchronicities. There are these really cool things that happen. And I'm saying this from personal experience. Sometimes I'll go through dark periods and it's just like everything is shit. But then when I start getting lit up, I start running into people that there's all these really crazy connections and things that like don't make sense. And it, it doesn't feel like coincidences. It feels like, oh, we were meant to meet. And that's what I feel like is happening. It's kind of like you have this longing for the magic in life to come back into your experience. And that is what's happening. Okay. We've got the gazelle card. Now it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, just throwing that out there. So that could be legal stuff that you're dealing with for some of you. Um, but it's almost like the gazelle is a very holding back energy because the gazelle is prey, right? Honestly, it's, it's a predator would chase after that. That's its food. But what I love about the gazelle is the gazelle is an animal that is in fight or flight mode that has to run for its life. But this gazelle is sitting there. So it's almost like you're kind of in this state of surrender, Taurus, that you're like, kind of you're having to surrender to some of your deepest fears around maybe someone in your life or just how things are going right now and that is the key i'm gonna tell you guys when it comes to holding patterns i love this what did i say about the predator and prey and we've got the lion card boom so isn't it interesting taurus that <sighs> this is such a transformation in energy and I want to say that it's you okay I think that there might be some type of relationship or dynamic or situation where you're, where you're feeling like you're the prey like life is just coming at you and kind of doing things to you and you're just kind of sitting back like all right you know like what else is coming what else is going to happen and what's really cool is that you're cured to longing. There's this thing, these doors that are going to open for you this week where I feel like you're just going to have this new renewed love for life. Like the magic is going to be coming back into your experience. And through that process, it's going to help you heal. It's going to help you pull out of maybe a point of time where you lost your balance and maybe felt really hopeless about things working out for you. And boom, the healing's going to come in. And here's the lion card where you're like, back in your power you're like oh i am on i am back in the driver's seat because look at that transformation where you feel like maybe a little victimish here but now you're taking the control and power back over your life you're like i'm not gonna let anyone or anything tell me who i am who i'm not i'm the one that decides like my own destiny in that way if you want to go to that extreme so let me pull out some tarot and for some of you, for the star card, it could be like, you need to just have a good freaking cry. Do you know what I mean? And in that moment, you're going to see like some of your deepest fears. Like maybe you're thinking that things are never going to work out for you. And they are, Taurus. They are. Like you just need to believe it. You need to believe in the magic again. This is why I talk so much about quantum physics. Because quantum physics, it is magic. It is straight up magic and that's the hilarious thing is it's science but it's magical okay so taurus what i think is going to be happening is we've got the six of swords here so that's you moving on to smoother more like tranquil waters it's going to be like so much more calm what you're moving into especially once these doors open the magic is coming in and once you start seeing like okay, life is actually really good. It's going to cause you want to want to leave this imbalance in your life, whether that's in your relationships or at work. There's just something where you're moving on. And here's what you're moving into. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So that's a new beginning. That could be a new home, a new job. That's something material and it's a shift in movement there. So I'm saying that, I mean, these cards, this is crazy, Taurus. So we've got next the king of pentacles. So for some of you, I mean, that is you, Taurus. Like you're standing in your power. Here's the queen of wands. I'm not going to pull it out because it's so similar to the lion energy. But you've got two aces that are popping out here. We've also got the ace of wands. So you've got the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. There's new beginnings that are going to be starting up for you. Something really inspired you to be like, 
ooh, maybe I could make this work. Maybe I could like start traveling and you're gonna feel really passionate about it. It's gonna be a new passion. And here we've got the nine of pentacles. So that's entrepreneurship. So there's something here where you're like, being able to make your own money, independence, you're like, okay, there's something, and this is what's going to drive you, Taurus. It's going to be the passion that will drive you forward. That's the chemical that you need to go off of it. It has to light you up. Okay. That's how you can tell if it's meant for you. If it feels like hard work, it's not for you. I will tell you that for sure. Like it has to feel easy and don't get me wrong. There's going to be moments where you have to almost like motivate yourself to do things and that's okay. That's very normal. Like even if it's something you're passionate about and lights you up, we all have that. It's like going to the gym. Once you finally go, you feel amazing, but getting going is sometimes the hardest part because you almost self-sabotage sabotage yourself from doing things you know that make you successful, right? So Taurus, I know these are a little bit shorter, but I'm going to dive into this in the extended. This is freaking good here though, what's coming out here. The King of Pentacles, that's like money flooding into your experience. So this for a lot of you could be entrepreneurship. Maybe you're running a business for some of you, but like I said, I'm going to dive into the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, just go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.